You all know what day it is, so we bring you another pair of socks. You must be thinking, wow, how many of these does she have? This is unbelievable. Guess what? The number of these socks does not compare to the number of actual Converse I own. So fun fact, I think I might have an unhealthy obsession. But that's okay! Ba-da-da-bam-pow! Alright guys, time for your rapid recap. So it's another Friday, went to work, work was work, everyone knows that. That's not new news anymore. Anyways, so we had a very long week, but that's not the point. Point is, this duck. Okay, ignore the, the normal looking duck, it's a square duck. See him? Yeah, so this duck appeared in my dream the other night, and I'm like, oh, I should draw him down because I don't think I have the capability to completely just manifest an entire duck, right? Apparently, I might. Unsure. Because every person I ask says, wow, he looks familiar. Yeah, where's he from? I don't know. That's the problem. So, he's familiar. I feel like it's like the Mandela effect. You know how, like, you ever heard about that? Where, like, people thought Nelson Mandela died in prison, but obviously he went on to become the president, so, like, he didn't die in prison. Or, like, other things, like, the Monopoly man has a monocle. Not true. Mandela effect. It's crazy. I'm crazy. It's been a long week. I'm really, really tired, sleep deprived here. That's okay. But so there's this duck. Everyone says he's familiar. No one knows who's from. If anyone figures out, please let me know. If not, I might start a comic strip or children's book series with this duck. I don't know. Perhaps miracles aren't mutually exclusive. They happen together in connection to make greater miracles possible. Whatever happened to that refrigerator joke? You know, your refrigerator's a goat, so you better go buy a pencil. <laughs> what a classic. Chucky Ducky, what's the weather like outside today? It is sunny, finally blue, and warm. Maybe warm enough for shorts. Quack. So, been a long week. Monday, I spent the whole time studying and getting ready for my Tuesday exam at 8 a.m. Tuesday, take this exam at 8 a.m. I did really well, which was great. But the thing was, it wasn't done yet, because then I had to take a chem quiz. And those are actually really hard. They're harder than the test. She makes them harder than the test on purpose, because she wants us to be ready for the test when the test comes around, which is like fine, but also like I get stressed out. It's okay. So I took this test. It's an hour long. We have 60 minutes to take three questions. And I was like, what did she do this time? And I was so nervous. And then I took it, and I was like, oh boy, definitely messed that up, did terrible. So, you know, I went to chem class the next day, and everyone's like, wow, we failed that quiz. And we're like, yeah, we did. Turns out I got a nine and a half when my friends got like fives, so don't tell them because I, f well, no, that's not true. I did tell them and I feel really bad. Like, I feel that when I do well and everyone else does bad because usually we all do bad together. But so that was a win. Um, I really didn't expect to get that. I really, really thought I messed it up. So that was lucky. Um, so, anyways, took that quiz. I had to read 50 pages of a novel, take a quiz on that. Those quizzes are easy. They're like five questions. So like, did you read this? Yes. Cool, you got a point. Um, and then after that, I had to go to lab, which, no, yeah, I did. I had lab that day. I went to lab. And then I met up with Brittany, and we did some chem work on other labs, and we did our pre-lab for the next day. And then I had to go to tutoring. And then I had to study for calculus, which I was trying to do, like, throughout the day, because I had a calc quiz the next day at 9 a.m. But before that, I had to go to work. So then Wednesday came, I go to work, I take my calc quiz, and I work my test. And I'm like, okay, phew. I don't know how I did on that. She didn't grade them yet. I feel okay. The last question, I didn't know what I was doing, and I kind of just made up stuff, and the answer came out to be one, so I think I did it wrong. That's okay. Why well, meltdown when that happens? Anyways, after that, I had to go to all my classes, and then I had to go to lab, which was a long lab, and it was really hard, and I was doing so good, guys. I was doing so good. I did everything right, and then I went to pour my stuff into my funnel, and apparently if you pour too fast, your funnel fills up and everything comes out and, like, splashes on your hands and on your bench, and you're like, oh, no, that was my product, really important, and it's gone, gone forever, so my yield is really small, but in the end, I did get a product. Not everyone got products, so, like, it's, it's good. We did okay. And okay? There's nothing wrong with okay. So I went to lab, and then uh, worked on my other lab, and then went to SI, and then I came back and I was like, I need to do the reading that has to be done before 8 a.m. tomorrow. And guess what? The next day I had to get up at 6.30. You know, the one day I get to like usually sleep till 7. No, 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 not this time. You know why? Because we're trapping mice for ecology, which was like fun. We went out, uh, we got two mice, which 
were the only mice of this entire week because there's been snow on the ground. Guys, it was snowing wicked hard on Monday, and then on Wednesday it was like 50 degrees, and I was like, wow, this weather's feeling really bipolar. But I'm glad it's warm. I love snow. I really love snow. But I'm glad it's warm. It's really nice in the sunshine, and it's blue, and it's like, wow, weather is changing. The winds have changed, and it's almost spring. But the point is, we went out to get these mice, so we got these mice. And then they're actually kind of really cute, and they're like brown, and they have big eyes, like their eyes are humongous. And so then... He's like, yo, do you want to hold it? And I was like, yeah, because obviously, you know, I want to hold it. But the other girl held it first. And as she's holding it, she, she like, didn't have it good enough. And it, like, crawled out of her hand. And it bit her. It bit her. And then she dropped it. So I didn't get to hold it. But the good news is it didn't bite me. So I guess it can't get disease. But I'm sure she's she'll be fine. Um, so that was fun. And now, now, yesterday, yeah, we got up early, did that. Did, did my readings that I had to push off because I was studying and now I'm catching up and I did more readings last night I read 50 pages of textbook last night between the ages between the ages of 7 and 10 no, between the time of 7 and 10 and then finally I got to go to bed and went to work this morning and hopefully this weekend we're just gonna like catch up but at a gradual pace and we're gonna like chill out because this week has been insane and I was so tired and I'm still tired and I'm sure you could probably tell but anyways that's what's happening and this has been your rapid recap